As yesterday's unemployment figures show and as next week's growth figures are expected to show, Britain's economy is now growing again. Well, in a minute, we'll discuss whether that means everyone will benefit and we'll discuss with a local professor, a think tanker and from Davos, the head of the world's largest advertising agency. But first, this part of England has for centuries been a powerhouse of manufacturing, once the backbone of Britain's place in the world, in more recent times, a relic of decline. But there is renaissance in even the oldest crafts, and here is a tale of two potters, local entrepreneurs, working in Staffordshire's most traditional industry. There is no industry like the Staffordshire potteries today. Generation after generation still work daily to produce a craft perhaps the most ancient known to us. J.B. Priestley on his tour of industrial England in 1934. 80 years later, this is Middleport Pottery in Stoke, the home of Burley Pottery. This wonderful place is still churning out chintz. The big industries have gone, but there's a new wave of designers and ceramics in the city. We're just scared that the skill base is going to be lost. This is what my beloved Stoke needs now. The industry needs help to expand in the modern world. Victorian potters once sought inspiration in the Orient. Today things have gone full circle and I sell my works online in Japan and China. And I'm not talking chintz, I'm talking... <laughs> punk pottery. I would like more support selling my punk pots to faraway markets. The Made in Stoke brand sells, and with a bit of help, we can make Stoke sexy again. In the city's heyday, the potteries were well connected by rail, road, and canal. Today, Stoke feels isolated, and it doesn't help that HS2 plans to pass us by. I would like to ask the leaders of Davos to help us get back on affordable trams, to make the canals busy again, and to link us up to our northern neighbours. The rest of the UK and the rest of the world. People come from all over the world to soak up Stokes heritage, and I'm one of them. The fine china in my mum's cabinet inspired me to come here. People often ask why I came to Stoke with a quizzical look. Communities can seem wearied and worn. Pottery once provided a sense of belonging here, but industrial decline left deep and painful scars. Stoke has given me amazing opportunities. I'm here in my own studio. I believe that there are lots of possibilities here and that ceramics can be our future. Pottery is a specialized industry. One day I hope to open my own factory here but I will need help finding those highly skilled craftspeople who I know exist in Stoke, but who left the industry feeling disillusioned. If you're listening in Davos, help me tap the local talent of Stoke-on-Trent's amazing artisans before the craft is lost forever. They cups and saucers and plates and teapots rush like magic out of the clay. May the ovens never grow cold. May Stoke-on-Trent, the pottery town, still continue to be the heart of British craftsmanship. <laughs>